the translational uh, oncology session. It was it was a, a fabulous session. Uh, I would say kind of high level scientific session in ter- and in terms of kind of future directions of where we're heading in terms of oncology and the lung cancer landscape. I think the key highlight areas we're looking at RNA therapies, uh, including RNA vaccines, uh, personalized RNA vaccines, which look like potentially logistically a very um, high level uh, input form of treatment. But in terms of the science and biology behind it, uh, something that really could transform the outlook for lung cancer patients. Uh, there was a, a broader talk in terms of vaccines and different ways of uh, creating them and manipulating them in the lung cancer field. I mean, I would say at this point in time, the, the, the vaccine from the, from the talks we got, the, the clinical trials in this setting are pretty early stage. Uh, and I think they re- at the moment we're seeing low level signals, but I'd say encouraging signals uh, and definitely something worth pursuing further down the line. Uh, The other aspect within that session was looking at further ways of manipulating immuno uh, or checkpoint inhibitors or the immuno-oncology field. Uh, I think we're all pretty comfortable with how immunotherapy agents have really revolutionized our lung cancer field and and they've really fully implemented in in, in the full spectrum of the patients we treat. But we still have patients who won't respond to treatment or eventually will develop resistance to treatment. So there's a definite need for drugs that will give us a higher, a higher response uh, and, and to overcome resistance mechanisms. So we had a great, great uh, talk about new, new, new uh, agents and, and ways of adding to our current portfolio that might bring about uh, better responses for patients with immunotherapy. So and I think a lot of these agents are already in, in clinical trials. So again, a, an exciting area and I think an area that we'll see a lot more of in the coming years.